our daughter, Emily, she's talked about a wedding since she was like knee high to me. I have to tell you, I am so grateful they found each other. I want you to look around this room, look at everybody's faces, and we're all in love with those two right there. First of all, can I just say, wow. Emily, you look absolutely stunning. A beautiful wedding for a beautiful bride. What epitomizes you? She goes, Daddy, said, don't let this define you. Define yourself through this journey. We all find a way to define ourselves through the journeys that we have. It's almost like the two of you, you know, you're so comfortable with each other. It's almost like you've known each other all your lives. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know, they have. All at the same schools. We grew up in the same neighborhood and we never hung out. Um, and then... The families knew each other too, right? Mm -hmm. We always knew who each other was, and then we started following each other on Instagram about five years ago. And I slid into his DMs. <laughs> How I say it? I slid into his DMs. Yeah. We turned 30, we went for drinks at Marietti's, and the rest is history. It's a fun tree. And you know, it's easy to kind of look back and say, oh man, if we'd have only known, if we'd only gotten together 10 years ago or what, back in high. No, it wouldn't have worked. Things happen at the right time when your heart is ready. You were growing and learning and becoming the person you wanted to be. And you've come to know who you are. You've come to know yourself in your own heart. Getting to know Emily through all my college years was like gaining family. So genuine, so sweet, so amazing. Griff, she's got it all, my man. She's smart, she's pretty, she loves to travel, but most importantly, she tolerates video games. the most genuine thing emotional. <laughs> oh my god, it just hit me all the time. You're gonna marry him. I know. He is yeah. genuinely the kindest person I've ever met. I know I can speak for all of us when I say how proud of you we are, brother. We look forward to what life holds for you and we can't wait to be a part of it. I'm so stoked that you found the love and happiness you deserve. She's been a, a really source of wisdom and courage for me and for a lot of people around her. Now? Wow, look at you, oh my gosh. You look beautiful. Oh, thanks, but you look beautiful. My God, look at you. <laughs> so proud of you. And you look great, and I love your dress. And the train, and the flower. Thanks, you too. Yeah, you excited? Yeah, you excited? Yeah. I know, I think it's gonna be beautiful. Getting to witness their relationship over the years, Griffin has been nothing but a wonderful addition to who Busey is. Hi! Oh my goodness! You look so beautiful. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. You look great. And I loved when you said to me, you know, this has been so easy. 
get along, we see things the same way. Sure, there's some disagreements, but it just, at every step, everything's been so easy. It's because you know who you are, and now you have found that right person to be able to share that with. For you, Emily, to say, I thought I knew what love was. But once I really met Griffin, I felt in a way I've never felt before. So much deeper of a love. I thought I'd been in love before, but I didn't really know until I met him. He is the definition of love. He is what it means to love. And um, he loves me so well. And I'm so, so lucky. He's just perfect. Having friends, you don't know the person that they're going to find. And whenever they bring that person into their life and you love them almost more than they do, the moment you meet them, you realize that they're perfect for them. And that's what I realized about Emily from literally the moment that I met her, is that she is perfect. Griffin, I have chosen to spend the rest of my life with you. The rest of my life with you. My best friend. My best friend. I want to love you. I want to love you. Just as you are. Just as you are. I choose to love you. I choose to love you. And desire only you. And desire only you. Above all others. Above all others. I promise to honor. I promise to honor. And tenderly care for you. And tenderly care for you. And to laugh together. And to laugh together. Love together. Love together. And live together. And live together. For always with you beside me. For always with you beside me. As my wife. As my wife. I now pronounce that you, Brit, and you, Emily, are husband and wife together. You may kiss your butt. We are two families and a lot of friends coming together for this one event. The large extended family that we're going to have when this is over is going to be a great dynamic. I'm so happy for you guys. And if anyone ever asks me what the key to successful marriage is, I say, easy. Marry your best friend and you'll figure the rest out as you go. I think that's what you've both done here today. Tons of cheers forever, forever, for each of you to admire each other. I can't be happier, so I really want to raise a toast to Griffin and Emily. Cheers. <laughs>